Can has always been a celebration of creativity. That was what it was originally established for. And I think over the last couple of years, it's really become much more than that um, with the ad tech partners and with digital and with data being so much a part of what drives campaign success and business outcomes for clients. There's a lot more emphasis on top to top discussions with some of the big media owners, but also looking for startups and major ad tech companies that are helping clients be able to achieve those, those business results that they're looking for. Cool, and uh, there's a lot going on with television, video, upfront, new front. Uh, we hear a lot about uh, video in Twitter, video in Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, we hear a lot more about um, video on demand. I mean, this is what we cover all the day. What, what is top of mind around video, would you say? Or mm -hmm. what's exciting now that will be part of the conversation in can? So I think you know, TV is, is probably, we talk about it being the most exciting time in, in television or in video. There's more exciting content for consumers than there's ever been. There's just more platforms to consume that content, which creates some challenges for clients in terms of how to invest their dollars the most effective way. Measurement certainly a, a key part of that discussion. I, I think we're starting to learn about and, and solve that problem to some extent. Um, but I think that we'll continue to see clients migrating money across platforms as they do that. And we saw a big shift happen last year, and we're gonna to continue to see that progress this year as well. But one of the big challenges is also about the efficacy or the effectiveness of the content now in those new platforms. So if you move money from traditional linear television, and traditional linear still is very important, it sells lots of products, and, and we think a lot about that as a medium. But as you shift money over to follow that consumer into digital video, you're fundamentally talking now about mobile video. And you start getting into different formats and different sizes. You get into vertical video versus horizontal. And that brings a whole series of challenges that I don't think clients have been asking themselves or have been looking at in terms of trying to solve those in the past. And we will be looking to solve those challenges going forward. Questions about viewability, too, of some of the videos in, in the stream and mm -hmm. vertical videos. Uh, Questions of viewability, what are some of those big points that, that, that you think are on clients' minds? So I think you know, viewability is a really interesting thing. It, it sort of is, to me, it's, it's, it's table stakes, it's air. You know, it's like when you ran an ad in a magazine, you expected that magazine to be printed correctly, to be right side up and to be in the magazine, right? That's all we're looking for in terms of ensuring, the viewability should just ensure that the ad runs as we think it should add. But it isn't a metrics by which we should measure performance. Performance is gonna be measured by the appropriate KPIs against the business outcomes that we're looking to set. So in viewability, do you agree with the IAB standards? Uh, do you think they go far enough? What are your thoughts about that? I think there's certainly a lot of debate. Personally, I think that we could go further on those. Uh, but again, I think it, depends uh, upon the campaign, but overall I would like to see a little bit stronger viewability standards in place. Cool. And uh, finally, the, we talk about the evolving role of the media agency. Mm -hmm. uh, the media agency is the Sherpa, is the consultant. Uh, mm -hmm. The expectations you guys have, there's been a lot of changes in media agencies, it'll probably continue. How do you see the evolving role of the media agency in maybe the, the offering of Kara in particular. I mean, this is something that's really close to my heart. I think that what clients are seeking now is they're seeking advisors. I have one client in particular who talks about the fact that she loves working with us because we help her see around corners. And I think that um, we would like to do that for every single client that we have. We strive to do that. Certainly we're seeing um, competition coming in from consulting companies and, and technology companies in that space. Um, the problem with that is they're not actually doing the execution as well. So it's really easy to come in and consult and tell a client what to do. But if you have to also deliver on that, um, that's the challenging piece. So I think what we are trying to do, there is so much going on. We fundamentally believe that we need to move from being a media agency, which is about um, channels. It's about media types to being an audience agency and really thinking about people first, the data that's required to activate those audiences. And then the platforms come second. Not all of that has to happen within a single agency, but we have to be an agency that understands people, understands data, and understands how to coordinate the execution and activation across multiple suppliers. And talking about big data, you have a big trading desk here with Amplify. Mm -hmm. What is the role of a trading desk within a media agency? I think that um, we have to have a flexible approach to how we deal with programmatic and, and how we think about our trading desk. And trading desk is basically just an accumulation of of technology that we've put together to deliver for our clients. 
So we certainly have an offering to allow clients to be able to warehouse that data, their first party data. We've got a stack of technology to allow us to activate those audiences for clients. And we've got people resources that are experts in this space. And that's, those are the three areas I think are critical, which is data, technology, and people. Um, some of our clients want to own the data solution themselves and frankly might even want to have direct contracts with their tech suppliers. That's absolutely fine. It becomes a managed service that we, that we then um, activate for our clients on their behalf. But I think we have to have a much more flexible model than perhaps we and the industry did just a couple years ago.